get the benefit of it. So, let me tell you about one of the longest stories written in the English language. The fandom so big, it's molded the way conventions worked, influenced future fans to be, and managed to crash two websites more than once. Let me tell you about Homestuck. Uh, now, a presentation by me, of course. So, I found out about Homestuck back in 2016, and ever since I've been dedicated three years of my human mortal life to reading this epic tale, learning about the fandom, and inevitably, inevitably becoming a part of the fandom itself. But what exactly is Homestuck, you may ask? Well, today I'm going to discuss what Homestuck is, who Andrew Hussey is, and the chaotic mess which is the Homestuck fandom. So, here's the intermission. Uh, so, to put simply, Homestuck is a single panel webcomic that follows the adventures of four kids. John Egbert, Rose Lalonde, Dave Strider, my personal favorite, and Jade Harley. And they play a game that ends their world. We're talking Jumanji, but the computer game with meteors. Okay, so the goal of the game is to create a new universe. This daunting task takes longer than they expected, and summarizing the whole thing would take an entirely different speech to discuss, and it would also take this speech into next week, because it took over seven years for Hussey to complete his magnum opus, which is Homestuck. This number includes the hiatuses that Hussey took due to burnout and wanting to work on a video game. So with this in mind, how long is Homestuck? Well, I'm glad you asked, theoretical human being. So, um, Homestuck is one of the longest works in the English language, achieving a whopping page count of 8,123 pages, not including the epilogue, which is 40 chapters each. All right, so in comparison, according to dashlog.org, or dashnet.org, War and Peace, um, hold on. Oh yeah, it has 8,117,612 words as well. So, according to this, Dash Net, War and Peace only has 587,287 words, whereas the Bible only has 783,187 words. If you were to combine both of those books into one, you would get 2,425 pages each. This means Homestuck is at least three times the amount of the Bible and War and Peace, and also 200,000 plus words than them separately. It would take almost four days to read Homestuck, from beginning to end, non-stop. So, now who in their right mind would be insane enough to create one of the longest stories in the English language? Well, it was none other than the infamous and rather elusive... Doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-boo! Andrew Hussey! Look at this majestic beast. Look how he's right next to Shrek and has this weird puppet thingy. So, not much is known about this majestic madman. All that is known right at the moment is he was born on August 25th, 1979, and even though he's famous, again, we don't know much about him. However, I did get some, some little tidbits off of allstarbio.com, so let's list him off. He has a degree in computer science from Temple University. Uh, he, his net worth is around a million dollars. He is five foot five. <laughs> uh, he actually owns the bunny, one of the Screen Youth's bunnies held by Nicolas Cage himself in the movie Con Air. Uh, he does have a Twitter, but he doesn't really post that much. And according to Hussey's forum spring, before he deleted it, he stated that Doc Holliday, Riot Earp's right hand man, was actually his ancestor to his mother's side. So here's Riot Earp. Look at that majestic mustache that he didn't inherit. So. And that's all the most relevant information I could possibly find. Luckily, it seems that his fans are a lot more interested in documentation than Hussey was, as well as Hussey was the hardest to research, the fandom was by far the least difficult to talk about. So, let us get into the fandom. Oh my god, what is this mess? What is this amazing artwork that someone created? I wonder who it was. So, firstly, let's start with some of the major celebrities who are known to be in the Homestuck fandom, such as... Dante Bosco, otherwise known as Rufio from the movie Hook. And here's a tweet about how Andrew Hussey met Rufio. And, of course, Toby Radiation Fox, this smug beast right here. 
the same Toby Fox who created Undertale, supposedly in Hussey's basement. Um, he was not only a part of the fandom, but he was also the one who composed most of the music featured in Homestuck. One of which being a song he would later reuse and remix in Undertale. Wow. Megalovania. Look, there's Sans right there. And also Vriska. We're not talking about her. However, those two and their respective amount of fans would only make a fraction of what Homestuck, the Homestuck fan was. The exact number of which is unknown, but the sheer size of the was enough to completely crash an entire website. Look at that. Um, I, you know, a, a website crashing doesn't really have an image. Okay. So, one of Homestuck's many quirks is the flash animations throughout the comic. One of those animations, known as S Cascade, seen right here, one pi picture of it, was released on Newgrounds due to how constantly the main site, Homestuck.com, would crash with the amount of people on it at once. In spite of this attempt to keep the fandom satiated, Newgrounds crashed multiple times as the website simply could not handle the sheer volume of the fandom. Maybe causing a few computer fires in the, in the works. So here's the Newgrounds crash of 1943 colorized. And here's Andrew Hussey himself saying, well, that didn't work. Okay, but that isn't the only thing that was crazy that was caused by the fandom. Conventions had to regulate makeup and how costumes were dealt with due to how many homestucks would fail to seal their makeup because all of them were whiny little kids that came from Hitalia. So, with this in mind, they were to situate their knowledge, learn how to seal makeup properly, and they would eventually spread that knowledge to other fandoms, such as Steven Universe. Look, look, look at that. It's, it's crazy. But that isn't the craziest thing that the fandom has done. Not by a long shot. In fact, the craziest thing the fandom has done is when they raised to pull two million two hundred oh, two four hundred eighty-five thousand five hundred and six dollars on a proposed game. It wasn't even in like the, the like the idea stage yet, not even the development stage. It was oh, we're gonna make a homestuck game. Bam! Two million dollars. So, this is according to Kickstarter Kickstarter.com, of course, where Hussies proposed the idea and got over thousands of dollars more than the original seven hundred thousand dollar goal, which is Okay, it was there, but oh, it's right there. Okay, where all where that all that money meant where bleh, where all of that money went is a bit of a mystery, as the money disappeared. But it shows how de dedicated the fandom was. So, this was the story about an 800-page webcomic about four kids, a story about a mysterious man who created this tale of an epic scale, a story of a huge and powerful fan base that was just as chaotic and as crazy than the comic they swore to. This was the story of Homestuck. Thanks for listening. Here are my works cited. My, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, why? Why? Why is there so many? Uh, it, it keeps going. It just keeps going. And, and going. And that, that's all. That's all. <laughs>